Hello private <laughs> viewers of the Noise Noisemaker. This is my seventh guitar. I've had three amps as well in January. Crazy. Look what I've got here. I've not had a lemon drop before. Can you believe it? I've not had a lemon drop guitar. This is an ESP LTD Eclipse, a 256 model. I've very nearly bought one of these on a number of occasions. They used to be, excuse me, about 399. Over the last couple of years, I've gone up to 525 or 550 in some, some places. This one I picked up today for 349 with a Gator soft gig bag from PMT. So I couldn't say no. Now I appreciate my Harley Benton uh, SC Deluxe Goto is heavily influenced by this guitar. Not quite as pointy on the horn, slightly different shape at the top. In fact, the standard SCs look a bit more like um, like the real thing but um, but yeah lemon drop just couldn't just couldn't resist it and it was such a good deal it's heavy I haven't weighed it but I'm, I'm guessing this is a good must be a good four kilos I would say you've got push pull here um, you've got a volume for the bridge a volume for the neck uh, of master tone here which is a, also a push pull it's mahogany body, three-way switch, it's a Jatoba fretboard. Needs a little bit of a drink, it's slightly dry, but as you probably know, Jatoba's got a similar sort of colouring to it to Pal Ferro. I don't, I don't mind it. Uh, standard uh, tuners on it, which seem all right. They're quite, they're quite stiff, but they're okay. And the nut seems to be cut pretty well also. All the slots are about right. And uh, you've got this, the Harley Benton's got a a smooth sort of high access there. This is a bit more traditional looking ESP's take on it. Um, the strap buttons I like here, the mushroomy kind of dome ones. And the neck is fairly slim. It's a sort of a modern slim C on there. I don't know what the fretboard radius is actually, I didn't check that. It's probably 12. The fret work is good although I would say the frets themselves are dirty and need a polish so yeah it will need just a, a, a little bit of love I still got the plastic on the pickups take those off staying. so my latest idea I'm gonna get myself a reasonably priced reasonable quality guitar of all the major brands that I like it's got the belly cut on it here as well so I've only ever had one ESP LTD before, and it was a EC one thousand, I think, proper cheap and cheerful. So this is a you know kind of more of a mid range one, a sort of five hundred fifty quid guitar. So this is going to be my ESP. I don't particularly like a lot of the other ESP stuff anyway, so that sort of suits me really. Um, yeah, so I've got that. So I'm going to work my way through as I can afford, and just get myself to rather than always getting the same things same kinds of things all the time got the strap tied up um, or what tie myself up in knots wanting to get everything from the same brand and i mean the, the the kind of dream i'd love a white telly a white strat a white les paul i'd love like a white series all with gold hardware and i might work towards that at a later point but for now the idea is a an affordable mid-range guitar from all the main brands. I'm really pleased with this. This is on the neck, volume, tone, right up, split, coil. I'll just play a few chords. are hotter than my Harley Benton and they are brighter as well.
switch is slightly on, a, on, a, on an angle here and it's a little bit stiff. I can't see any problems with the guitar. The whole binding is really nicely done. The finish is really good. I also tried today a PRS SE2408. Usual PRS loveliness there. It was blue, didn't really like the blue, but that sounded good with all the different pickup options. The uh, input jack was loose, mind you. loads of little finish issues, loads of little QC things. And I tried an Ibanez RG421 in blue um, moon burst. Beautiful finish on the front and the back. An unfinished neck and a black headstock. 339, 24 fret, five position selector and I'd always fancied that guitar because of the finish on the body but it always looked weird having a black headstock when it was so beautiful everywhere else so uh, yeah I turned it down also on that one there was significant volume drop on positions two and four didn't sound good at all It's funny, I've got all my settings and my pedals and the amp geared up to playing my ML3 Pro with the single coils. And just using those same settings straight on this don't sound as good, so... So I need to do some, uh, some jiggery-pokery to get my the sound that I'm after. Same with the amp. Like it. What do you think? <laughs> 